Chris, a lot of back and forth today between the city and the police department. Absolutely, Erica, and a brutally tough report card by the mayor for her new hand-picked top cop here in the city of Chicago as the city sees its deadliest Memorial Day weekend in five years. This was a fail, and whatever the strategy is, it didn't work. Tonight, mapping that failure. CBS 2 uncovering every one of the 49 shooting locations in the city between Friday night and end of day Monday. And these, the locations where 10 people died as a result. The deadliest 24 hours, Saturday, which recorded half of all homicides. Um, Saturday was not a good day. CPD, which often touts 1,000 frontline officers on Memorial Day weekend, changed their approach. We uh, did not utilize um, the normal thousand additional officers. We had several hundred. But Mayor Lightfoot saying there was no reduction. The notion that somehow we had less people on the street this weekend, it's just fundamentally not true. The two okay, meeting so late today yeah, to discuss know. strategy. For perspective, New York, which has three times the residents of Chicago, had 10 shootings and five homicides this weekend. L.A., three shootings, one homicide. Chicago, 49 shootings and 10 homicides. The mayor says COVID-19 clogging jails and the court system, allowing some offenders to get out in 24 hours. CBS 2 took a look back. Chicago hasn't seen numbers like this on Memorial Day since 2015, when 12 people were killed. A big challenge for a new top cop, promising improvement. Yes, we need to do better, and we will do better. The mayor says there has never been a time in Chicago history where it has been so difficult to police the city. And yes, there was a dip in violent crime in the days immediately after the stay at home order was put into place. But those numbers have sadly crept back up never more than this past weekend. And by the way, Erica, of the 10 fatal shootings in the city this Memorial Day weekend so far, no arrests. Mm, all right. So, Chris, what did the superintendent Brown say will change as a result of this violent weekend. Yeah, he said they're putting in place these summer mobile teams where police will be in highly visible areas like CTA buses and L trains and along the lakefront so that they're more visible. They also want to get some administrators out from behind desks here at headquarters and out into the city so they can be seen. And one other point, the mayor and the top cop met late today to discuss all of this. So far, no word on what came of that conversation. All right. We certainly want to hear about that one. Thank you, Chris.